Margaret Perry was a 26-year-old woman from Portertown, County Armagh, Northern Ireland who was abducted on the 21st of June 1991. After a tip from the IRA, her body was found buried across the border in a field in Malamore, Counties Ligo, Counties Ligo, Ireland, on the 30th of June 1992. She had been beaten to death. Her murder has never been solved. Background Margaret Perry was a civil servant, working at training and employment in Leesburn. A Catholic, she lived with her widowed mother, Mary, at Churchill Park, Porter Down. She disappeared on the 21st of June 1991, after she crossed the border into the Republic of Ireland to visit her boyfriend, Gregory Burns, who was hospitalized in Monaghan. A year later, on 30 June 1992, acting on a tip-off from the IRA via a local priest, the guard found her body not far from Mullamore. She had been strangled and beaten to death with a spade, then buried in a shallow grave in a forest not far from the former estate of the late Lord Outbatten. Deaths of Burns, Dignam, Stars in June 1992, shortly after the recovery of Perry's body, the PIRA admitted responsibility for the killing of three men, whose bodies were found at different roadsides in County Armagh. The IRA claimed the men, all members of the IRA, were undercover agents for MI5 and the RUC Special Branch. The IRA had tried and executed them, leaving their naked, hooded bodies in ditches. The bodies bore evidence of torture and each had a single bullet wound to the back of the head. They were Gregory Burns, aged 33, John Dignam, aged 32, and Aidan Stars, aged 29, all natives of Porterdown. The IRA justified the killings by stating they were guilty of the abduction and murder of Perry. They claimed that Burns had had an affair with Perry. The IRA claimed she threatened to expose his group's intelligence links, so the men kidnapped and murdered her. As the bodies might have been booby-trapped, they were left in place overnight. The killings were the first to occur during an eight-week span in Northern Ireland, during peace talks. Allegations by Infoblocked It was later claimed, through an article in the Sinn Féin newspaper, Infoblocked. Dignam had been detained by the RUC over Perry's disappearance in the summer of 1991. During interrogation, it was claimed, he confessed to her murder and implicated the other two men as well. The newspaper claimed that instead of arresting the three men, they were recruited as informers for the force research unit, and that the man in charge of their interrogation and executions was Freddy Scapatici, another FRU agent who had infiltrated the IRA's internal security unit. The newspaper also claimed Gregory Burns had been a paid agent of MI5 for the past 13 years since they recruited him in Enniskillen. It was alleged had been an aide to Owen Karen, election worker for Bobby Sands and that Gregory Burns had arranged the killing of his own brother, Sean, in 1982, in one of the shoot-to-kill controversies of the 1980s.It was alleged that Burns had been instrumental in foiling many IRA operations in Northern Ireland. According to the newspaper report, he wanted to break up with Perry, his girlfriend at the time, but was fearful she would reveal that he had told her he was working for British intelligence. Burns consulted his handlers, who agreed that he, Dignam and Stars should get out before they were uncovered. But the head of the FRU, Brigadier Gordon Carr, refused, telling Burns to clear up his personal mess. Burns replied that if he and his comrades were not pulled out by the FRU, he would certainly have to kill Perry. Burns traveled to Sligo to undergo a minor arm operation in June 1991. On the 21st of June, Dignam and Stars drove Perry to Sligo, ostensibly to see Burns, but outside Mullamore she was strangled and beaten to death with a spade, burying her in a shallow forest grave. The allegations against the three and in Foblocked were denied by their family and supporters, who believed the three were set up. Burns' father, Jim Burns, stated he did not believe Gregory had anything to do with his own brother's death in 1982. The British newspaper The Guardian reported there were contradictions in the IRA's version of events.
investigations into Perry's disappearance by Sunday World reporter Martin O'Hagan prompted IRA interest. Freddy Skapatikji and his unit interrogated Burns, Dignam and Stars the following year, leading to their deaths. Taped confessions by the three men recorded by Skapatikji were later played to Peter Taylor in his BBC documentary. The IRA gave information to a Sligo priest that led to Perry's body being recovered. Three days later, after nearly two weeks' interrogation, the three men were found dumped in County Armagh. All bore evidence of torture. After Dignam's funeral, a letter by him was given to his pregnant wife Colin I have only a matter of hours to live, I only wish I could see you and the kids one last time, but as you know, this is not possible. See also Force Research Unit Internal Security Unit List of Kidnappings List of Solved Missing Persons Cases John Joe McGee Joseph Fenton Murder of Jean McConville Murder of Thomas Oliver Murders of Catherine and Gerard Monstake Knife References External links Malcolm Sutton Can Sutton Index of Deaths Can.ulst.ac.uk Retrieved the 24th of April 2014 IRA Murders Informers News.bbc.co.uk Retrieved the 24th of April 2014 Police Fail 1991 Murder Victim Porterdowntimes.co.uk Retrieved the 24th of April 2014 IRA Killers Were All Army Spies A Tale of Torture and Betrayal As IRA's Most Feared Informer Killed Anyone Who Threatened His Double Life TheFreeLibrary.com Retrieved the 24th of April 2015 Counterpoint ITNSOURCE.com Retrieved the 24th of April 2015 How Britain's Master Spy Left Ulster Double Agents to Die PathenUKCenter.org Retrieved the 24th of April 2015